but this girl straight out like, like who, who the fuck does that bro hey guys welcome back to the channel it is your boy be distinct welcome back to the channel if you're new thank you for supporting the channel thank you for passing by but today we are going to be talking about something crazy that happened uh, I have parts coming in I'm still working on uh, ordering the wheels let me know if my wheel setup uh, will work for my car I got 255 40 r18 and the front two 275s a 40 R18 in the back with a wheel 15 millimeter offset, uh, 18 by uh, 9.5 in the front, 18 by 10.5 in the back. Let me know if that will work, but I've been searching all over. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about something in the G35, G37 Infinity community. I'm part of this group on Facebook, and you know I always go there for like advice, you know, you know, little ideas from people posting their cards, you know, grab some ideas from here, something. and it's overall like freaking awesome page, and I really suggest for all of you guys who have G37, G35, go ahead, I think it's called, I'll post it down in the link, it's a Facebook, I'll post the name down in the, uh, in the comment section below, I'll let you guys know, but something has gone crazy in the community, guys, there, I was just, you know, going through the page again, I always do it, it's literally the most, like, I always search it up, this is the point, alright? And then there's this girl that just happened to roll by and she kept popping up more and more and I'm like, oh. And so I checked her Instagram. Her Instagram is called VQ underscore mommy. And if you guys do that as of right now, it's probably private and I'll tell you why. By the time, but at the time I searched it up, she was still public. And I was looking through her pictures and she, you know, you can see how she transitions from nice, cute selfies to like more like, you know, uncovering, thoughty pictures, you know, she like, you know, puts her ass in front of a car and then, you know, you get a bunch of likes and stuff. They can see the transition. I'm like, okay, what's happening? So apparently, here's the history behind VQ underscore mommy for those of you guys who want to know. So apparently, there's this chick and I'm going to put pictures to illustrate so you guys can follow me through. So let's see this picture right here. Boom. All right. VQ mommy. So you see two different cars. Okay. People thought it was the same car. No, there's two different cars. One has a moonroof, one doesn't. So there's two different cars. So apparently this woman, VQ underscore mommy, she got two infinities and she crashed both of them. Now here's the reason why people are just making memes out of this and they're absolutely hilarious and we're going to go over them. So stay tuned to the end of the video. So she's asking for money, right? You can see on it, it says, help, help me, please fix my car. Now, hold, now, before I make fun of everything, I just want to say I'm glad she's okay. And, you know, she was at fault, but I'm just saying, like, I'm glad both parties were okay and things like that because I was involved in the accident. It was pretty serious. And, like, you know, it brings scary thoughts. But anyways, in one of her Instagram pictures and one of, I can't really go through her pictures because she's private now and I didn't follow her, but... In one of her pictures, she said, hashtag, right? And when you put your hashtag, she said, hashtag coilovers are for poor people. And she kept bragging that, and she kept putting that on her pictures. And if you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure you guys don't know, but coilovers are like a spring. You put a spring in your car to lower your car at a, like at a lower height, and it improves handling and stuff like that. And uh, bags, what she had on, airbag suspension is... Uh, the more the more expensive option here, which it's the one that goes like this here. Illustration. You know, you know when you hear those cars that you know go down and up, you know with that. You know that that's what it is. That's what she had on, and those are really expensive to install compared to coilovers, right? And so she said coilovers are for poor people, right? And she kept bragging and stuff and doing all this stuff. And it came to the point where she crashed her car, and now she's asking people people for money. She's posting thoughty pictures, and she's doing everything she can to obviously get the money to help fix her car. And people have been killing it, yo. They have been reaching out to her, trying, just making, exposing her. And it's crazy. So now that you guys know the history, let's go to the beast, bro. Because honestly, as bad as I feel, like, they're absolutely fucking hilarious. So let's go without further ado. Let's start off with this one, all right? He says, he starts off nice, you know. Hey, uh, I saw your accident, bro. It's so unfortunate. Let me help you. She's like, oh, yeah. you. And then she's like, how much can I send you? You know, I need your help. And then she's like, oh, thank you. You can send me money on my GoFundMe. Uh, 2000 $2,000. Bro. Anyways, oh, oh, I forgot such a detail. You guys are probably killing it right now in the comments. No, I forgot. So one of the reasons uh, people are making fun of her too is because when she crashed, she didn't have full coverage insurance. She only had liability insurance. So the insurance doesn't cover her car. So she, she has to pay for it. That's the reason we're making fun of her because she said, 
bags are for uh, rich people, I mean, coilovers are for poor people, but she couldn't even afford full coverage insurance. Everybody should have full coverage insurance, so that's why people are making fun of her too. This girl, she didn't buy a, she didn't buy full insurance, full coverage, she bought liability insurance, so she couldn't pay off her car, and they didn't cover it, and she said coilovers are for poor people, and she did crazy, so okay, okay, let's get it up. So this guy was like, hey, let me help you, let me help you, hey, hey. She's like, she helped me with 2000 He's like, oh yeah, I'll send you the link, I'll donate 2000 She's like, bruh, sick, you're the best man ever, I'm freaking grateful, right? She, she says that, and she's like, I already sent the money. He's like, oh really, it hasn't gone through. She's like, oh, it's taken out of my PayPal, you know, and stuff like that. And then at the end, you know, you get kind of read it, and at the end, she says, oh, um, oh, the guy says, hey, send me some news or something. You know, I send you two thousand. Send me a little love, you know, you know. And then the girl's like, I will, but uh, I gotta see the money first, right? You know, and this is only gonna stay between me and you and whatever, whatever. And then he sends, you know, a little screenshot of the two thousand dollar withdrawal. Now I don't know if this is fake or if this is real, like the screenshot itself, because. $2,000 is a lot of money. I would never do that. And then she's like, oh my God, thank you so much. You're the best. And then boom, she sends the news, yo. They're censored, but you know, hey, she sent them, yo. That's crazy what you do for money sometimes. And she has a little kid and you know, she has a man. And she's over here like exposing herself so bad, yo. It's crazy. Anyways, let's get on with the memes, bro. All right, so this is my personal favorite, bro. Bro. The pursuit of money for my car, bro. You guys don't know, bro. Like, there's a movie called The Pursuit of Happiness where this guy is super poor and he eventually becomes rich and he's trying to pursue happiness, right? But then they replace her picture with, I was Will Smith, right? And they put the pursuit of money for my car, bro. And the little kid, dude. Bro, this is this is crazy. And then it has a little GoFundMe stamp in the bottom, bro. That that is Cra crash me outside. How about that? Yo, crash me outside. How about that? Crash me outside. How about that? Bro, that is the bro. These got this guy Jeffrey Darino. This guy literally made like five gajillion memes yesterday, bro. This guy, he's like, hey, last one, boom, dropped another. Hey, bro, I was just gonna last one, boom, dropped another one. This guy was on fire yesterday. Giving back to your community. You see, she's giving coilovers to the poor because coilovers are for poor people. Bro, stop it. Stop it, yo. Oh, bro, this one, had, I showed this one to my girlfriend. I explained the whole story and she was finally on track. Bro, this one got me weak. Yo, is there a, is there a way I can help you fix your G, yo? Like, I'm really trying to help you. And, and I think I, I know, I, I, I think I can help you. Just let me know. She's like, wait, how? Tell me how? And then this fool posts a link to Indeed. <laughs> this guy posts a, the link to Indeed. If you guys don't know, it, oh, it says right there, a job search. It's basically a site where you go search for jobs, yo. This guy legitly put the link to Indeed. Uh, bro, that had me weak as fuck, bro. That was done after that, bro. And then, like, you see this other one when you see somebody on coilovers. <clears throat> Hello, police officer. I like to report a crime. And, it's, it's fucking, and then you got the, you know, bro, these memes are fucking hilarious. And if you guys own a G35, G37, go ahead and follow the pages. I'm going to leave them down in the comment uh, below. Um, you guys need to follow them. They're freaking hilarious. And hey, as for the woman, like, hey, she, when I saw her, she was public, she was around like 5,000 uh, followers. And now she's. We check, let's check real quick because I don't want to give you anything uh, uh, false here. She went public again. She has 18.7 thousand followers, yo. She went public. Now you can see she's posting a lot of body pictures now. You know, ass in front of her car and stuff like that. It's, it's crazy. And she's blowing up right now. If I, if I was her and she really need that much money, I would use that fame she is receiving now and use it as something crazy, you know, start a YouTube channel, start something that will make you money, bro. You have so much attention right now. Now, you can use all that to, to get you where, you where you need to be. Some people will say like, hey, sell your parts, sell your damn bags, right? That car's so expensive and help fix your car. But no, coilovers are for poor people. <laughs> bro, she literally doesn't show her face. Her face. She literally just go like this. Like, like some girls, right, you, when you want to show booty in your car, you know, you kind of turn around, right, 
you, you show the booty, but you show your face too, right? Like, like something like this, right? Like, 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 right? Like something like check my booty out. But this girl straight out like bending over, like when somebody wants to wipe her ass or some shit. She's like, like, who, who the fuck does that, bro? Like that, that's just crazy. Like, hey, somebody wiped my ass. I think I shit myself. Like, I think that's pretty crazy. But anyways, guys, that's kind of the history behind VQ, VQ underscore mommy right now. Everybody's on her ass right now. Everybody's making memes. They're fucking fire. Keep them coming. And I love the G37, G35 community. Y'all killing it, bro. I love your guys' builds, cars, everything. Honestly, building your own car and everything. Like, watch it come together. I've never, I've always been into supercars, exotics, and everything like that. But when I got my G, I know I'm kind of tired. When I got my G35 and you start buying pieces and putting them together, and honestly, it's one of the most rewarding things ever because I, I, at least I did when I grew up, I used to love Legos, building them together and stuff like that. And that's sort of what it feels like. You buy one piece, you put it together, you buy one piece, you put it together. And then at the end, you have this huge monster everybody's monster is different I don't know if I said that right but it's freaking it's it's the best thing ever like it's literally the best thing ever I, I've, I've always told my cousin I'm never into JDM cars like bro they're it's just like what is it bro they're like what Nissan's freaking yeah I, Lambos bro Ferraris bro. but honestly once I got my G35 I started building it up at least a little bit even the most little things like a rare air refresher nah, okay, not that little but it's it's so rewarding it's so freaking awesome and I really recommend all you stars high schoolers stuff like that get a car you like and pimp it the freak out if you guys know that old show pimp my ride you know that's what it is and honestly it's freaking awesome thank you guys so much for supporting the channel thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys next video with some parts and let me know about the wheels let me know if those will fit because i really do need your guys' help so let me know down in the section comment section down below thank you guys so much i'll catch you guys next weekend or next week and peace out amigos happy easter y'all